Hi, I'm Jeff Fraser, and I'd like to welcome you to Adirondack Living TV. Five times each week, I'll take you on a half hour journey to meet the people, see the places, and do the things that make the Adirondack Park such a great place to live, work, and play. So come on, live the dream. It's your turn to jump into Adirondack Living TV. Today on Adirondack Living TV, Join us as we explore the natural beauty of the Kunjamuk River and learn to fly fish with our very own Adirondack guide. Then, take a hike. Up Panther Mountain, that is. You won't believe the view from 600 vertical feet. And discover a real Adirondack legend. All this and more here on Adirondack Living TV. Hi, I'm Jeff Fraser. Welcome to this week's episode of Adirondack Living TV. Say, have you ever wondered how to enjoy the wild side of the Adirondacks? The camping, the hiking, the fishing? Well, I might just have an answer for you in this week's episode because I caught up with my good friend Jerry Roberts from Fort Noble Adirondack Adventures right here in Speculator, New York. We're going to do some climbing. We're going to do some fly fishing and paddling. So come on, let's go do some Adirondack living. Hey, Jerry. Hi, Jeff. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Good, beautiful day in Speculator. Oh, it's fantastic here today. Man, so what are we up to today? Well, Charlie and I are going to take you canoeing. We're going to go down the Kunjamuk River. Easy word. Well, very easy word. Kunjamuk. All right. <laughs> then we're going to do a little fishing down there. Okay. And then we'll come back and we're going to go down to Pasico Lake and do a climb. I love it. What do you think? Let's get to it. Okay. Come on. Fine. And away we go. Where are we right now, Jerry? Uh, this is the, the outlet to uh, Lake Pleasant. We're going down into Kunjamuk Bay. Kunjamuk. Kunjamuk. This is pickerel weed. And down at the base where the water is are little white flowers. That's called wapato. You can see the wapato to your left, Jeff. See it? It's little white flowers in there. Oh, right. Okay. See sure. It? Stinks to be us today, doesn't it, E? The park is six million acres, and within the park are almost different little mini climates. Uh, generally, you will get a time of the year where something blooms, uh, say the oh the bunchberry or the Indian slippers, but it can vary point to point. There's a great gray heron. Wow. I remember this scene from last of the Mohican Z. This is where the French let them go and let the British go. Right. And, the and then ambushed them? Ambushed them. <laughs> Not a good thing. I, it's going to happen again right here. History repeats itself. There's something in the water there. There is. See I see that. Let's yeah. go over and take a look. It's, it's a dragonfly, it looks like. And he's just hatching out. He's splitting, he's, he's getting out of the larval skin there. So he'll take flight shortly? I believe so. Right there. Oh, wow. The duck family singers. Mm -hmm. They're partying over here, eh? You notice they're not paying any attention to us at all. No. They're very threatened by us. Not at all. It's like they could care less. Yeah. Now, if it said Peking Diner on the side, then they'd have reason for concern. When you said, well, let's go, you know, my quandary is, well, Where? which one do I pick? Which you know? beautiful place? Right. Uh, you you know, know, the one. The one. Well, that's it. It's, it's, how it's tough the one I want to see, right? How, how tough can that be with six million acres? Right. It's six million what acres, man. Right? <laughs> oh, here's something interesting, Jeff. Here's a beaver lodge. Where's that? Right to your right. Right here. Right there. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Fairly active. Fairly good size. Active. You notice that there's fresh mud on it. Okay. They've done some repairs on it. 
See the fresh mud around the bottom? You yep. may even be able to see some, some prints in there. It started out cloudy today a little bit and it started to break up. What's going to happen now between now and the end of the day is these clouds are going to line up into, into long lines across the sky. And what you'll get is a line of clouds and a line of blue and a line of clouds. You see them starting to, it's almost yep. like they line up in yep. a line. Yep. And you'll get that across the whole sky. It's very, very beautiful. All right, Jared, break the mechanics down one more time for us. All right, let me get it out here and make sure we're going to be able to start get right from in. the get go. All right, what you want to do is you want to develop a nice, smooth cast. And what you're trying to do is you want that line to lay out behind you before you start forward. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with it and wait. And I, I can actually feel a tug. This pole is, is sensitive enough, I can feel a tug as the line straightens out. Once it straightens out, I want to cast it forward let it straighten out above the water and it drops down on the water. All right. What you're gonna do is, is you're gonna you're gonna let it straighten out and then pitch it right out. See it come out? Yep. Alright. We're gonna let it stay in the water a couple seconds and then we're gonna move it, move it, move it. We want to stay outside the weeds but close to the weeds. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna reach forward, pull and pull, straighten it out and then go right out into the wind. You see that wind blew it back a little bit. It wouldn't straighten it the leader out. Yeah, wind is tricky. Okay, do that one again. All right, out, throw it. Say, because we're fishing for bass, we want to disturb the water, so we want it to come down with a plunk. And they, if they're if they're going to feed, they're going to hit it. What you want to do is go right over here. I know there's a good cold water spot right there. All right, let mm -hmm. me let me give that a shot. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, baby. Woohoo! Check it out, E. I love fishing here. I love this fly fishing. Look, the fish come out crunchy, breaded, and frozen. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more here on Adirondack Living TV.